I'm John Ruggiero, and welcome to this episode of New Jersey Paranormal. With me, as always, is my partner, Chris. And our special guest today is Mary Ellen McVeigh from Liberty Hall Museum. Mary Ellen, thank you for being here today. Good to have you. Delighted to be here with you, John and Crystal. So, Liberty Hall Museum, um, right off the bat for me, I'm always researching places in New Jersey that may have paranormal activity. The pictures alone of Liberty Hall Museum <laughs> are what really struck me. The, the, the mansion is beautiful. Um, and then the carriage house. So. I initially reached out to you asking about any paranormal activity, but the history surrounding the site is also impressive. Could you tell us a little yes. bit about that? Liberty Hall is an amazing site. There's a, it's a campus of buildings, actually. The main house was begun in 1772 by William Livingston, who was New Jersey's first elected governor. So technically, we are New Jersey's first governor's mansion. Wow. Uh, the house has been continually lived in from 1772 until 1995. So the Livingston family lived there uh, through the late 1700s, and then the Kane family, um, one of New Jersey's largest, strongest political families, um, moved in. Uh, senators, congressmen, um, all were raised in that house, so it, it's got a tremendous history tied in with New Jersey. Um, the house was added on to through the 1800s. It, it grew from a 14-room house to a 50-room house. Um, in addition to the house itself, we've got a carriage house, we've got uh, a smoke house, we've got a wagon shed. The, the property was a farm for many years, uh, so it's got a lot of outbuildings. And um, because they've been a lot around for so long and so many people have lived there, there's quite a paranormal history going on in the house. Well, you had mentioned too during our, our first tour, a lot of the furniture and things in the mansion are, they belong to the, the family. Yeah, everything in the house is original to the house. Um, as families moved in, of course, furniture was rearranged. Some things might have been put up in the attic or into storage and a couple new pieces bought, but everything that's in the house belonged to either the Livingstons or the Canes. So well, I told him, I, when we first did the tour with you, we walked through, I said it was like going through each period of time. You yes. could see the change from each of the family members, yep. which was really impressive. Yeah, it's three centuries of New Jersey history all tucked into one space. And the reason I mentioned the furniture, and again, from a paranormal perspective, um, sometimes the building and the land can hold energy and activity, but when you add original property mm -hmm. along with it, the, the odds increase of there being somebody or something there. So. I set up a meeting with you, and again, one of the criteria for us coming in and doing an event or shooting there is that there has to be some kind of uh, notion of activity there. Yes. When I met with you, you told me a few stories that really, really piqued my interest. Could you kind of sure. share those with us? One of the things we like to say is people, one of the first questions when someone comes to Liberty Hall is, are you haunted? Right. Mm -hmm. And we always say, yeah. But they're all benevolent guests. We've right. never had anybody be uh, put in a, a difficult position. Um, you hear com little whispers of conversation in a house when you know you're the only one in there. Um, and smell is one of the other things. Every now and then you'll open a room and smell cigar smoke. But no one has smoked a cigar in the house in probably 50 years. Um, and you'll smell the little, a whiff of perfume. Uh, so there are a lot of experiences like that that the staff members have had. We've even, staff members have actually seen apparitions in the house. Uh, so there's been a lot of um, experiences of paranormal type experiences throughout the house. You had mentioned one in particular, again, and that ties into a lot of the things that we, we captured. Um, the master bedroom. Yes which we refer to as the red room because it has all that <laughs> red, wall, really unique wallpaper. Yeah. Um, uh, somebody was cleaning and they actually saw an apparition come out of the mirror. Yes. And they- A man to be specific, It was, it was right? a yeah, man. A man specifically. Um, yeah, our, we have two wonderful women who cleaned the house at that period in time. And um, she saw someone come out of the mirror and literally walk across the room. So. You know, that was, I don't think she went back into that room to clean for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but, but those are the things. And then you tie in the carriage house where you told us a few things about that. Mm -hmm. There was so much space. We were so interested in getting in there and, and seeing what we could find. And 
you know, it's one of those buildings, like you said, people asking you if it's haunted. There's certain buildings, and I'm not sensitive or psychic or medium, <laughs> but it's one of those buildings where you look at it and you walk in and you feel energy oh, yeah, right away. It. Yeah. And I knew we were going to have some experiences there. Um, I think there's certain rooms that really give off definitely, the vibe when you more walk than in. others. And we're not going to go into the carriage house today. That's for another episode, probably. We're going to stick to the main mansion. Um, the clips we're going to show you were surprising to us as far as the amount of interaction that we had. And we're not going to be able to show you everything. We're just going to show you specific clips, but there was much much more that we're not going to show. And before we show you the evidence, I also want to say you said about the perfume and the cigar smokes. We did have Definitely. those experiences Validated in the house that. too. Yeah. And it was funny because um, I said something about a perfume that we smelled when we were there the first night. And I, Tiny said, describe it. And I said, all I can tell you is like it reminds me of my, my great grandmother or whatever. And then yeah. you brought us in later on and showed us there was a collection of perfume that, mm -hmm. uh, was it Mary? Mary, uh, Mary Ellis Barney Kane. And she She's had her own private resident. and that was the smell of the perfume that yeah. I was smelling that night. Yeah. So that yeah. was pretty cool. Yes. I can't mean, catch that on film, but. You can't, but it's, it's true. When we open the house some days, you open that room, and you, it's as though someone just sprayed perfume and walked past you. It's really those it's, two rooms, back to back, yeah. seem to have a lot there. Yes. Which yeah. is really good. So that's where we're going to start, actually. And they're always cold. That's the other thing I will say about I those. walked into that master bedroom, <laughs> and I felt right away there's something here. So that's where we started, Great. the master bedroom. Um, let's run that first clip, and then we'll comment on it. How did you feel about being laid out in the red room? It said arrived just before. Oh, it said arrived. Yeah, I was trying to. Ovulus. Did it? Yeah, just before she started talking. Anything right from okay. So what I want to try and do, John, real quick, yeah, is I want to try and read a little bit of the history to see. Oh, <gasps> look, 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 static's going off. Yeah, I just met. There, there goes. Go. There goes. Yeah. So okay. Is that you, Captain John? Wait, 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 wait. Who? There was just something standing on the side. Look, look. Oh shit. That's got to be Crystal. There was something right here standing well, next let me to the. Crystal, something just moved behind you. Yeah, oh, no. it was between oh, you yes. and the bed. Yes, it did. Yeah. I saw it in the mirror. So here we have a, a case of, again, multiple pieces of equipment are reacting to something. Most of those um, pieces of equipment that we use either measure energy or static electricity. That little box on the, the, the desk there uh, can measure energy and, it, and there's a word that corresponds with a, a binary code. So it said arrived. Right off the bat we put it down arrived. Something had arrived. On the bed those V-shaped is static electricity. Something was on the bed. And then Tanya mentions and Kenny that they had seen something by the, the doorway leading in to the hallway. Now she mentioned Captain John. Could you tell us a little bit about that room? Sure, that, that was the, the main bedroom of the house. It's the largest bedroom in the house. And it was used by the head of the households uh, throughout most of the 1800s and into the 1900s. Captain John and Mary Ellis Barney Kane were the last two residents mm. to raise a family in the house. And Captain John uh, died and was brought back, his body was brought back to the house and he was brought up to that room where he was dressed. Uh, and then he was waked downstairs in the parlor. So the, if you got a reaction to Captain John, that would not at all surprise me. We also know from his letters that he wrote home during World War I um, that he was always asking his family to send him cigars. And that's the room that we often will go into and smell cigar smoke. Wow. So again, right off the bat, we've got interaction on yeah. multiple pieces of equipment, and that sort of sets things up for the same what happens that next. The housekeeper saw the it is. man come out of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So next we have same room. Um, Tanya had seen something in the hall, so we focus our camera, which in theory can map a person or a figure, a spirit, 
as a stick figure. It, right. it maps motion and you know anything that sort of looks like a person, it's going to show as a stick figure that we can't see with our eyes. So I'm going to show you this clip. It's actually from two angles. It's what's going on live with the night vision camera and what we're seeing on the other camera that maps figures. Okay. 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 Did you hear that? Right there, John. Right there, John. Right. Did you hear that? Music. What did you hear? I heard a woman. There's something right next to you, Tanya. Between you and the bed, Tanya. It's like right by the bed and the, the dresser. Several. Several. Oh. Can you please come in here? We just want to talk to you. Whoever it is is staying out in the hallway. Or, okay, in the doorway. if you want to stay out there. I... Oh, whoa. You got that? Thank you. Whoa, look at that. We're gonna use that to communicate. Feel that cold? With you. Do you feel the temperature dropping? This said beckon when you said when that. Do you feel the temperature it dropping? Said beckon. Noise. Noise. Wow. Listen, that is gonna make a noise, and that's how we're gonna communicate with you and talk to you. Grace. Did you hear that? Right there, John. Right there, John. Did you hear that? Music. What did you hear? I heard a woman. There's something can right you, next to you, Tanya. Between you, you and the bed, Tan. It's like right by the bed and the, the dresser. Several. Several. Oh. Can you please come in here? We just want to talk to you. Whoever it is is staying out in the hallway. Or, okay, if hallway. you want to stay out there. I. Oh, whoa. You got it? That's gone. So the reason I showed you that clip the way I showed it was because that camera with the, the stick figures um, mapped multiple apparitions, multiple figures. One on the bed initially, I don't know if you caught that real quick on the bed, mm -hmm. and also one in the hallway where she said she heard a woman's voice. Then the other box that we talked about before said several. It was basically saying there's more than one person here. And if you notice that object on the bed that measures energy with the lights and the music was, again, reacting to something being on the bed. And we caught that. Everything that you All heard simultaneously. and saw with the naked eye, we caught it on the other camera mapping those entities as being there. And I now, don't know if you caught the ovulus when John and them were saying you can come close or whatever if you want to come in. The ovulus said, and it was hard to hear over us talking, said beckon. So it was like it was being beckoned to come in. Wow. Well, it, it's nice to have all of this confirmed <laughs> with your experiences because that's one of the rooms that people often have um, a paranormal type experience in it's when a hot spot. they're visiting. Well, it's you definitely mentioned a hot Captain spot. John being laid out on the bed. Yeah. Who was his wife? Mary Alice Barney Kane. So the voice she heard, in theory, in the hallway could have been her as well. Yeah. Because the room right next to where she stayed with all her perfumes and everything was right there. After the captain died, she moved into the bedroom next door, immediately right. next door. Um, and we still think of that as Mary Alice's room. I mean, to me, that's incredible that we were able to actually capture on two different cameras what was really going on. The, the equipment reacting to something we can now see. And Tanya's saying, camera. I hear a woman, and then all of a sudden seeing Something a appears. figure appear right where was she saying she hears a woman, woman in the hallway is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, That's that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, it's, it's not uncommon that we hear little snippets of conversation. You can never really make out what people are saying, but when you go into the room where you think it's coming from, there's nothing there. It goes. Yeah. It goes, it's just like... It's just gone. They're yeah. here. We're going. Yeah. So this next clip here... Um, Weird things were happening in the hallway by the servants' quarters. We could constantly hear things from the hallway and in that main area. Here is, um, I'm, I'm going to show it to you first, and then we'll talk about it. Is it like an adult or is it a child? It's doing the Irish jig. I'm going to move this out of the way. On my shoulders. It's mm -hmm. standing on your shoulders. Yeah, one here. Well, who are you? You're obviously following me. Up here. Do I look like somebody you know? No, 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 no. 
I look like somebody you know, huh? Okay, I wonder who I look like. And you I see it's red and you. green, like there's two there. So, Ain't that weird? Oh, uh, under the bed. So if I look, look like that. somebody you know, can you light something up again? It's to changing let you know? colors. What's really different is what Freddie, what Freddie, what Kenny is mapping. Look at that, there look. There's two of them. Was going from red to white, and now there's two of them. On me? They're right next to you. One's on this your shoulders, the other's standing. So the other stand look, hey, look, it just came out the now, room. Now the one is crawling on the floor that just came out of the room. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, oh, something just grabbed my arm. Look at that, look at that arm go up, Kenny. Look at what that yeah. one's doing. It's like, look, it's mimicking me. Look, my hand's over my head. Yep. Look. That is crazy. Do that. Look. It's Holy crap. Up. That's nuts. Is something grabbing my arm? Dude, they're all over you. Put your arm up again like this. Could you see me? Do what I'm doing. Reach your arm up and wave. I'm fine. You that, didn't oh even my move. God, did you see that? Yeah. Whoa! Holy! Look at that! Look at that! Holy! What is it? Holy! I just saw a person. Person. Holy! Wow. There's a lot of bleeping there for, for, for a reason. <laughs> what wow. I want you to take note of in, in that scenario there, Tanya is actually sitting on the floor, and whatever there is is above her. Yes. Right? Now, it splits in two. And again, if you watch, if we were to watch that again, you could see one of the figures kind of gets erratic and then disappears, while the other one stays there and actually intelligently... I said, could you wave your hand? Yes. And that's not just some random mapping thing. That's an actual figure there, hearing, listening, reacting, and doing what I ask it to do. Yeah. And as soon as that figure scrambles and goes away up the wall, Tanya then sees somebody up there. So it may have been, in theory, whatever the second figure was going and appearing then where she could see it. We couldn't get our camera up there quick enough. Wow. But that was really impressive to us that an intelligent form doing what we asked it to do, and then she sees something up there. As you can see, they all get excited. And really, she was affected. We crazy. <laughs> we yes. kept hearing footsteps coming down yes. that hallway while we were in that area. We just kept listening and listening, like, does everybody hear that? And then what we didn't capture on camera was top of the stairs to the left, there's a door to a room. That door kept like somebody was trying to open it. Oh, wow. Which, again, was really, really different. We, we had a great time that night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've uh, never had anyone respond directly like that. You know, we've never had that type of but experience. But you've never had anybody go in there and directly no. communicate with them right. either. I mean, That's what I always tell people, that they say, why does this happen when we're here or we get this kind of interaction? And I say to them every time, do you ever openly talk to them and try to get them to engage in you? <laughs> Most don't people don't. We're not, we we right. just stay there until we, and then maybe they just, we wear them down and like, okay, I'm gonna respond to you now. I think you must. We always give a greeting, good morning, good, <laughs> good night, but uh, you know, there's not interaction like that. So that's pretty amazing. So the next set of clips here all take place in, in one room. I don't know what you refer to this room as, but we call it the doll room. That's uh, where all those old creepy it, dolls are. <laughs> we, we call it the toy room, actually. Okay, the toy room. <laughs> and it's uh, a collection of toys that children who grew up in the house left behind. Okay. So it's toys from the 1800s through the 1900s. Okay, we had a lot of interaction on that room. And this is what happens during the initial walk-in after we set our equipment around the room. Okay. We've got these little balls here on the, on the desk. They light up as well. If you just tap them with your fingers or squeeze the them video. next to the oh. dolls here, they're going to light up like a rainbow too. Everything we have lights up like a rainbow. There's, and there's circles that play music. There's uh, on the dollhouse here, these Sorry. little triangles, they light up like rainbows, all pretty colors. And that, that's, that's what we did brought you, you. Touch the REM pod? And the cat. This is our dollhouse cat, only it's bigger. If we pet the kitty cat or try to pick it up, again, a rainbow of lights. And sounds, and there's another circle right there. Ooh, it's better on the dollhouse. Yeah, say it again. Oh, right on the dollhouse. Mm -hmm. if, if that's somebody doing that, could you do that again, please? Whatever you just did to make that light up. It's on the second floor of the dollhouse on the little roof here above the, um, the door. Could you reach out with your energy or touch it to make it light up colors again? John, the one behind you. Yeah, I was going to say, there's something behind them. I can't, okay. See it? 
That's good. What, what about the oh, tool? The ball. The, what in the hell? Oh look, my look. goodness, that means John, move, move, move. And the motion thing went off. Oh no! You gotta go the other way. The motion thing went off on the door. Oh my gosh! Right, I'm and moving. I'll address you. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, again, static detectors, what you're seeing, the Vs. Yes. The theory is if a spirit's going to manifest, they're going to give off a static charge. So that's what you're seeing in two different areas. That little ball that lights up, something actually has to touch that and shake it for it to light up. So they're telling me, that's going off, move, move. I'm, where am I going to go? It's, it's around me the whole entire time. In the dark, no less. Yes. <laughs> so that was a room, again, where we got the vibe as soon as we walked in. That's what sets up the next thing. And again, the next couple of clips are really compelling to me. Uh, we're doing an EVP session. That's where you ask a question and you record it and you listen back for a voice. Whatever, whoever was in there didn't really want us in there, didn't really like, I guess, what we were doing and how we were interacting. So here's the first EVP session. What's your mother's name? Go away, again. Again? Right there, go away. That time it's easier to hear both words. Yeah, oh, you hear that one better. Okay. I heard that one. Yeah. Go away. Mm -hmm. Now, Again, could have just been something that prefers somebody that prefers to be alone in that room and doesn't really want company that night at that time. Did we go away? No. <laughs> of course not. So when you get interactions sometimes, you've got to kind of see if they're willing to communicate more. So we then said, look, if you really want us to leave, show us something more. Could you, you know, touch something in the room? Show us a sign. And that's the next clip. So so we heard a male's voice saying, go away. Twice. Who was that person? Is he in a room with us right now? If you want us to go away, you're going to have to touch something and light it up. Light up one of those balls right there on the floor. Here's what makes us go away. If you touch these, make them light up like that. If you touch this behind me. Or even over here. If you touch the cat. Right See? You make that go off. We'll go. Or you you say it in that box right there. That the box over Pete. The, the light, light just, just went, went off. off. Holy Toledo. Okay. You what? want us to go away. Do that again and we're gone. We're going to go right now. Touch it again and we're going to go. <laughs> I can't believe it did that. <laughs> that is funny. Can you I'm, like, I'm, I'm like touching everything else and it's like touch the very first thing I asked it to do to make us go away. Touch something else <laughs> right now and we're going to go. We're just going to go. You got to touch Promise. Something. Promise. We will go. Touch something. Touch one of the balls or whatever or touch something. I don't know about you, but do you feel that? It got ice, ice cold. <gasps> yeah. I felt on my legs. <gasps> Whoa. I felt on my legs. The 360 went off. Where? In the hallway. Where? It In the hallway? It just went off. Yeah. The tongue is left. Holy shit, is it cold here? Uh, okay, I, I didn't see you do it the first time. So the thing that you can do to get us to leave is to touch the, the objects on the floor, the two balls there that light up, to touch the cat, touch the circle behind me that makes music, or to say the words get out on that box right there. If you say it out loud, get or out that box is going to repeat it. So that's what you need to do for us to leave. And we will get out. I promise we will leave this room. I guess you want us to stay, so we'll stay. And literally, like, I, I, I did what you told me to do, you know? Right. But we're not leaving until you do it again. That's how this works. And we promise. We, Even if you light up something in the hall away from us. We'll keep our word and we'll move on to another room. We'll pack up and go. Is there, what is it about this room that you- It's freaking cool. You keep saying, get out. Why, why would we get out of here? Oh, there oh, we go. There okay, we go. We gotta go. It's doing the thing that we asked it to do. Okay, no, we're gonna respect it. We're gonna go. Thank you. So, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Three times. Three times an intelligent response. 
and yet still do you think that they were going to keep the and if you notice i kept saying i promise i promise so sometimes again when you're, you're, you're trying to validate and document. So you're looking for proof of intelligence between you and whatever is there. You want to document, you want to prove that this is an intelligent entity listening and responding. So remember what I said, okay, we asked you to do something and you did it. Well, we did one more EVP session and along the, keep remembering what I said about ask you to do it and you did it and we're gonna run that clip. Okay. Did you belong to this family? Hold on. What is that? I did your request. What? You're kidding me. I did your request. Did you hear that? It's like off, the, off in the distance. I did your I request. I did your request. Get out of here. You really hear that? Yes. I heard it. It's really it low so in the hear? background. I did your request. I'm going to play it for you first, John. All right. Hold on. Hold on, let me cue it up. Right there. Wow, I, I can't request. even hear it from here. Who are you upset with? All right, All man, right. that thing doesn't want us. Whoever you are doesn't want us in here, so we're going to respect. Well, yeah. So wow. we, we did leave the room after that. <laughs> Called him out. <laughs> but again, very impressive interaction in that building um, in different areas. Like I said, there was much more there that we couldn't even show. Um, but what are your impressions? I mean, I think it's amazing. And I think what you were able to capture uh, with the equipment that you brought really tells a story all by itself. Um, it validates all the experiences people have had in the house for years. So it's just, it's terrific. It's, and it, it really interesting. I just wish we knew who. That's, wish... again, that's future investigations. Yes. We're going to be back in there more. We've been in the carriage house. Um, there's puzzles, yeah, that we need to fill in the place uh, pieces. But um, thank you so much for having us. We had a great time. Such an interesting place. Uh, where can people go to see information? LibertyHall.Kane.edu, and you can get all kinds of information. We are open to the public. We're giving limited house and garden tours, small groups because of COVID, but um, we are welcoming guests to come, and we'll hopefully have an event this fall with you guys. And uh, be able to do some more exploring. Okay, well, thank you so much again. We thank look forward you. to future investigations and having you back on at some point. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Thank you again for watching this episode of New Jersey Paranormal. We'll see you next time.